I'm glad you're saying that because if you say it, it sounds better than when I say it. Oh, really? <laughs> Because if I say it, then okay. people... I know you've been doing roasting business for some time now. If there's someone out there, they're inspired by you guys. You know what? I want to start a roasting business. Um, uh, what do you recommend? Is that, first of all, is that profitable? Um, I think it's the easiest to start out of all the coffee businesses. Okay. Because you can buy a small little machine, mm -hmm. like a bullet, and yep. you can start roasting coffee. And selling it to your friends and family. Like, That's it's right. very easy. Um, now, because it's so easy and simple, uh, everybody starts can start a roasting company. And yeah. now you see there's no shortages of roasting mm -hmm. companies. Everybody has a roasting company. Um, which then causes, you know, other challenges and difficulties of how mm -hmm. do you stand out. Yeah. Um, what your style of roast specifically is, um, how do you reach and communicate to people? So mm -hmm. it becomes a little more complicated, but yeah, starting a roasting company is probably the, the lowest cost, the most easiest upfront right away. But I mean, that's true because I do have a small roaster right now at my yeah. uh, next, next room. You know, I roast yeah. it. I give it to my friends and families. Yeah. They think that they are the greatest coffee. <laughs> okay, yeah. but I think they are terrible <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, here, here's the thing about the roasting business. Okay, roasting, you know, uh, you know what? I, I mean, if you're a good roaster, I mean, personally, leave it to professional because I know you guys are eat and breed for years at a time, and the people like newbies, you know, you're gonna spend a couple thousand dollars on, ro you know, coffee roaster and started roasting why my why my coffee is not as good as mark's coffee okay because <laughs> because it's different okay i mean that's the different machines and different techniques and skills yeah yeah i mean un unless you're gonna spend unless you're gonna become a true hobby spend hours on it i don't know yeah. I, I guess uh, I, i'd rather save the money and just buy coffee from you instead <laughs> You know, I, I'm glad you're saying that because if you say it, it sounds better than when I say it. Oh, really? <laughs> because, because if I say it, then people think, you know, oh, I'm just trying to sell my coffee or, no, trying no. To, you know, but the reality is I would a hundred percent agree with you that if you want good coffee and if this is not a hobby for you, you know or you're not just really interested yourself yep. in roasting, I'd say just don't do it. Like find roasters who have gone through the trouble of sourcing, yep. roasting, dialing in, managing all the challenges mm -hmm. of running a roasting company and let them do what they do best. And you get yep, to just it. enjoy yep. Like you just enjoy. get to enjoy the good stuff without that's any up. pain and the hus and like just the hassle of it. So I, I agree with you. I agree. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, you got, I mean, roasters, you got to source better than regular people. Because for yeah. regular people, I mean, what was uh, my options? Well, Sweet Maria is one of them. You can buy small batch from Sweet Maria. I mean, Amazon green beans are not as good. So mm -hmm. you, 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 you know, you have your options are, you know, pretty slim. Okay. I'm talking about high quality coffee beans. High quality coffee beans already gone. Okay, by the big, you know, big roasters anyway. Yes, yes. I, I uh, agree that that's a very good point. I think, you know, Sweet Maria's has a has a really solid selection. Mm -hmm. So I'm yep. not going to say it's bad. But I will say, though, if you're looking for some very, very heavy hitter yep. coffee, even, even sometimes we get, you know, have a challenge of getting our hands on it because... It's like once a few people find out about it and they find good green, they just want to buy it all and they yeah, want to. Yeah. And so unless you have kind of relationships, connections, yeah. unless you're, you know, willing to pay ahead of time or, mm -hmm. you know, like there's, there's small little tips and tricks that you can use mm -hmm. to kind of get in. And, um, and yeah, those are the very, those are the very good tasty coffees that, you know, a lot of people talk about, you know, the buy.